Asking the questions mainstream journalists will never ask. This is your Richie Allen Show on RichieAllen.co.uk, Fab Radio 2 in Manchester, and TriggerWarning.tv. There's quite a few tweets about dangly bits. And by dangly bits, of course, people are referring to the male genitalia. And a number of people have tweeted that whatever anybody tells me, if you have a penis, you're not a woman. Now, look, my I've said this before time and time again. This is an area about, about free thought, about the right to think what it is you think without being condemned for it or being labelled a bigot or whatever. I've said on the programme before, I've not hidden from it, I don't believe in hiding from it, that I don't think that somebody with male genitalia is a woman. I don't think that. I don't believe it. But, this is the but, if they think that, they are entitled to, and they are entitled to be respected in terms of they shouldn't have to listen to name-calling or cat-calling or abuse or bullying or an attempt to marginalise them or put them down. Let them be. Speak to them. You know, treat them like you treat anybody else. Let them think what they want to think. So we use, I mean, I've made silly jokes before about, you know, if you look into your underpants and all of that, but that's ultimately where I am on it. You know, and I, and I really do mean that. It's important that people say what they mean. Leave people alone, so long as they're not trying to use their identity to force upon you a way of thinking that you don't agree with. That's absolutely not not acceptable to me. It isn't. You know, somebody telling me, you've got to speak a certain way. You've got to omit these phrases from your vocabulary. Well, no, I won't do that. If John, who, who, who now thinks, or I shouldn't say thinks, if John, who now believes he's Karen, says, call me Karen, absolutely. But don't tell me to omit other phrases from my vocabulary because they might be prejudicial or because it could be argued that they are in some way discriminatory. No, I'm sorry, no, no. A pregnant woman is a pregnant woman, not a pregnant person. That's going too far. That's fascism. That's interfering with my right to think as I want to think. Will you call Karen, Karen? Of course I will. Will you refer to Karen as she? Of course, I have no problems with it. Why would I? I know I've said this before. I can hear you. I can hear you yawning. Richie, you've said it before. But it keeps coming up, doesn't it? This comes up because we're, we're hearing so much of this. And this decision by the Labour National Executive to allow self-defining trans women to enter contests that were reserved exclusively for women is rubbish. It's just rubbish. And I don't like isms. I've no time for feminism. I've no time for identity politics, full stop. I don't identify as anything other than I'm just me. I'm not a socialist, not a democrat, not a liberal, not a conservative, nothing. I see the world not, not as it is defined by somebody else or by parameters defined by social groups. I see the world as I experience it. That's how I see the world. So I'm not any ism. It's funny that people say, oh, conservative talk show host getting kicked off of um, YouTube, like Richie Allen. <laughs> Fuck off, conservative talk show hosts. Nothing conservative or liberal or socialist about me at all. I'm just me. I believe things. Some of the things I believe are probably ridiculous. Some of the, or could be argued, are ridiculous. Uh, I, I feel things about things based on my own experiences, not based on I assign myself to a pigeonholed group. Um, I understand, I saw this today, I didn't have time to get into it tonight, but I understand that these Antifa dirtbags, let's call them what they are, apparently they stormed a meeting last night in London. I saw the story today just briefly, there was so much going on today, I was doing so much for this show, but apparently 16 mob-handed Antifa fascists, anti-fascists my arse, these guys are scumbags. Apparently they piled into a meeting in London 
where, where, where some allegedly conservative speakers were talking and these guys started punching people in the face. Lovely. I just noticed people are talking about it on Twitter. I did read about it today, but I've got nothing to add to what's been said about it because I don't know too much about it. Other than if it's true, you've got to condemn it. These guys are lowlifes. That's all I'm saying about that. Going to take a very quick break. This is Tuesday's Richie Allen Show. Thanks for your company. Uh, Back in a couple of minutes with William Binney, former NSA whistleblower, very highly regarded man, Russian expert and former technical director at the National Security Agency. Nobody, I suppose, better place to talk about Russia than him. So he joins me in about two minutes' time.